Hey, it's Saturday and my dad has arrived and we are about to head to Mill Lake in Perry Sound to do some fishing. We've got a boat rented there and um, we're going to see if we can catch some fish. So we're at the bait store. I'm going to go get some worms. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. A Hey, Hello. I'm at Mill Lake Resort with my dad. Say hi, dad. Hi. Hi. And um, we're just waiting for Mike to come up and we're going to get our boat and then we're going to do some fishing. Okay. But anyway, if you stick to the mill, you can go right straight through. It starts to drop down. Uh, people fish sometimes in the river by the bridge. Uh, water drops actually down to 70 feet in here. So sometimes people will try in this area here mm -hmm. for uh, uh, pike and uh, black crappie down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But you can go all up in here. Anywhere where I have more yellow areas you need to watch out for. we go, we're gonna get this guy in there. I'm having deja vu. Didn't you do this already? <laughs> I should get it stuck on my finger. I'm notorious for sticking lures in my finger. When was the first time you went fishing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you're the only one in the boat. <laughs> uh, first time I was fishing, it's Bobby. I'm not going to fall, it's on the well, this way because... I thought I had a bite. Yeah, look, look. When do I pull? This is where uh, I always screw up, not, I always lose he's it. Not, look, uh, he's not, look. Or give it a, a short tuck. Not like that, uh, the wrist, the flick. And then what, real? Well, you gotta hook the, hook the fish. And you got nothing on anyway. That was a good bite. I'm terrible at getting that part. That's what I'm yeah, stuck at. You have to wait until he pulls on it. You can't pull on it. And what you do, you go like this. You just flip it so, real short, so the hook gets in his set, right? Okay, you're telling me about your first time fishing. Before I got my bite. Oh, first time I'm fishing was probably, I don't know, maybe the whirlpool. And Germany? I, no, I'm not gonna fall. Never, never fished in Germany. No. You never fished in Germany? No. Never fished. Didn't Holy. have, didn't have any money for it, and didn't even know where to go. So the whirlpool and Niagara Falls, yep. the Niagara River. Yeah. Did first you catch something? 
after that we went up to uh, Port Severn. We fished up in Port Severn at night. We went up Friday night late and came back Sunday. Sunday night. Just fished all night and then towed back home. There really? Was, no, there was no traffic on, on the highway then. Only a few cars. Did you catch anything? Oh yeah. A pickle up there. Severn's, Severn's the other way from me. Yeah. We could have went to Severn. Yeah, well, it's probably really busy now. Gonna catch something, you know. But, uh, we fished there and then uh, French River, yeah. and then uh, Green Bow Lake and all the little streams all around the lakes. We used to go there for a little trout. I don't know if you remember that. I do. Yeah, it's fished there. I remember I had a plastic fishing rod, yeah. and I dropped it in the water and it sunk to the bottom, which I still don't understand. Doesn't plastic float? Supposed to be. I had little fake fish. Yeah. And where else did we fish? I don't know. Oh, Wolseley Bay, French River, obviously. And then Tamagami, and we fished up at uh, Lake Muskoka, but the fishing was not good there. <laughs> well, I haven't had a nipple or anything, so. I had a couple of them. You've only been in the water for like three minutes. Oh, that's long enough. Um, when it flips back and forth, then you get a bite. This is just dragging along. Pretty sure. Yeah, see? You were hooked. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> just really wanted to catch one because I can clean it now, and I want to just catch one and clean it and eat it to complete the circle. Well, we're not gonna catch anything here, I can tell you that. There's nothing, nothing moving here. We should go with those locks on, maybe. All right. I don't know what you did to this rod, but it just like spins like nothing now. It's like butter. Yeah, it's broken. Pretty good. Compared to yours? <laughs> you have less patience than I do. <laughs> it's been like one cast. Nope, no fish here. <laughs> I think worm goes great with cookies. Oh, no. Just we don't have any bugs. Oh, maybe do. The conditions are perfect for fishing. It's sunny. Um, <laughs> it's hot. Not good for fishing the first year. So somebody told me. You can clear this up for me, that if you have seaweed on your line, yeah. fish won't bite it. No. Nope. You have to get it all off. Is that true? Well, I'm not sure if it's true, but I, I wouldn't take a chance, no. You agree with that? It's got to be something about it. I got a weed. I got another one. Oh, shit, jumped off. Jumped they spit off. out. Bass are the ones that spit your line back out, right? Yeah, it's little, the ones? little bass, mini bass. I might be stuck. Oh, I got out. Hey, little fishy, bite my Yeah. <laughs> 
One for bass, and we also use for pickle. After we put put a dewworm on or a minnow. That's a yellow one. They come in different colors. You can get them orange and green and yellow, or you can just. Uh, Why use... are there black ones? Can't the fish not see those? Oh no, we can use black ones. But we can use just like kind of a squid little thing, which we put a hook on. It that looks, looks cool. It looks like a squid. We use them. But we can also use lures, which I haven't got here because... I have some lures. But no, we're fishing with live bait today, so we don't need the lures. What do you use lures for? Well, lures used for bass on top of uh, lily pads or places like that spoons where you float on top maybe a foot down so you don't get snagged in the uh, what kind of fish weeds. what kind of fish float on the water well the fish don't float but uh, the bass usually come up and grab the spoon oh so spoons are good for bass yeah we usually use them for bass but uh, like today it's awful hot today it's around 27 degrees and sunny and uh I don't think fish is perfect fishing be. weather, right, Dad? Yeah. Fish is not that good. <laughs> we got a few bites. We got one, but uh, nothing significant to keep. So we're going to tie one more spot. If we get skunked, we're going to go home. <laughs> we'll have some beers. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's give it a go. I'm good. Well, we're wrapping up our fishing day today, and uh, my dad caught a little bass, but we didn't catch much else, and you know, the weather conditions might have played a part on that, right? It certainly did. What was your favorite part about your fishing day today, Dad, with me? Oh, spending time out on the water. Yeah, it was pretty nice. It's a beautiful day. It's about 27 degrees out here, and it's really sunny, and it's very hot. Um, so probably another reason the fish aren't biting, but I did learn a lot. Thanks to my dad for coming out, teaching me some stuff, and uh, I'll just keep at it. Bye. Keep on going. Bye-bye. Hey. Well, we're all done our little fishing day, and uh, my dad's just up putting the stuff in the car. Um, I wanted to say thanks to my dad for coming all the way up here to hang out with me today. Um, even though we didn't, well, we caught one fish, he got one fish, I didn't catch a fish, but um, it didn't really matter. We, we caught time together and, you know, and the bottom, the bottom line is at the end of the day, you know, that's what matters, you know, spending time with the people you care about and your family and um, you know doing stuff you love together so thanks dad for coming all this way and uh, for hanging out with me today and driving the boat and showing me some of your fishing tips and uh, i hope to do it again sometime soon bye <laughs>